Hi, my name's Viv Bennett and I'm the Director of Nursing for the Department of Health in England. I'm a nurse and health to by background and I've been working in a national post for five years now. One of the things I've been doing throughout the time I've worked here is to really look into a range of issues surrounding nursing and the use of both technology in terms of equipment and in information. Um, for me, it is impossible to conceive nursing in the 21st century without encompassing technology and what technology can do for us in providing better care to our patients. And some of you will know that we're currently working on a nursing vision and strategy for England and there are some really key um, values and beliefs of nursing that I think we can use technology going forward to make stronger and the first of these I'd touch on is communication. We've had a, a number of conversations with nurses about how they communicate to people, how face-to-face -face communication can be of the highest quality, but also how on occasions people are now looking for technologies, everything from phones through to emails to social media to get information and to have conversations. We did some work very recently with the British Youth Council and they were very clear that for the school age child and young person being able to be communicated with or even be part of a communication that involved technology was very important. So my first kind of um, factor is for communication. The second is for information and that covers a whole range of issues from how do we provide the right information to our patients, families and populations to how do we collect clinical information in a usable format to how do we have appropriate management uh, information that's collected with the least amount of um, time removed from the clinical area but is meaningful and useful in what we do. So I think all of those things are, are really, really important and people will have heard a lot about um, information um, and technology for productivity. I think that's, that is a very important thing to do. We all want to clear to um, create as much time as we can for spending on nursing duties with our patients and we hear a lot about cutting bureaucracy but a lot of nurses now tell me that they are now down to documenting what is necessary for safe patient care and what they need is to have ways that they would have in other walks of their life to collect this information quickly, easily, at the point of care and only once. And for that we need to look to varying kinds of technologies. We know that um, in the community, community nurses are still spending a lot of time collecting information, actually writing it down, having to drive to another place to enter it onto a computer. So for these nurses particularly, use of various devices like um, digipens and tough books and various others of those are very important to them to be able to um, construct their work in a modern way. I think beyond that though, we need to be starting to think very imaginatively imaginatively about how technology can actually support us to deliver care in different ways and to deliver care that meets the um, health needs that will be facing us as we move through the 20th century. We know that nurses increasingly are going to need to work with people to help them support their own care in managing their long-term conditions and we already see how the use of telehealth, remote monitoring and virtual care can support people to be able to actually manage their care, be very powerful in the care relationship and very importantly for people to stay at home whenever that's safe to do so. And we will see more of this and we'll have technologies that enable us to look after people who have perhaps less stable healthcare needs in the community as long as we can get real-time test results to nurses and clinical advice for backup. So we need to be thinking about how this can extend our range of care really in the, in the very, uh, very near future. We can also use technology, I think, to communicate with each other very well. And um, I have become a recent convert to Twitter and, um, and some of you may have seen things that we've tweeted from the Department of Health that will be of interest to you. What I've particularly found hugely valuable, valuable is to get involved in nurse chats on Twitter and to be able to collect 
information, views and different points of view from nurses from all um, types of service, from, from frontline care through to leadership or education positions about specific issues. So I would ask you to, to think about modern ways of creating a community of nurses so that we can really drive forward uh, our care to meet the emerging health needs for the 21st century.